This is a special type of projectile problem. In projectiles, you want to calculate how far something will go, where it will land, and how long it takes. But for, there's a special, two special formulas for something called a level launch. That means when the projectile is shot, it moves and lands at the same height. It's sort of a short way of calculating stuff instead of going through the long way. So what it does is, it takes a problem that might take 10 minutes to calculate, turns into a problem that takes 5 minutes to calculate. Uh, but if you use it for something that's not a level launch, it'll still take a problem that's 10 minutes to calculate and turn it into a 5 minute calculation, but you'll get the wrong answer. So make sure it's landing at the same height. And it's just really two simple formulas. The time is 2v sine theta divided by g, and the horizontal distance or the range is v squared over g sine 2 theta. So for this example, the time would be 2 times 6 sine of 30 degrees divided by 9.8, and that'll give you an answer. And I believe the time was uh, 0.61. I've rounded it a bit. So 0.61 seconds. How far does it land? The range? D equals uh, 6 squared sine 2 times 30 is 60 degrees divided by 9.8, and that worked out to, uh, I got it here, 3.2 meters. The question might be, what's the maximum range? How far will this thing go? If I shoot it at 6 meters per second, what's the furthest I could shoot it? What you need to know is, the furthest you can throw something, you already naturally know this, is when you throw it at 45 degrees. If you throw it at 30, it'll land here. If you throw it at 45, it'll land further. If you throw it at an angle greater than 45, it will land back somewhere there. So for anything less than the maximum range, there's actually two angles you can use. I can make a ball land here by throwing it up and over, or straight across like that. But the maximum range is at 45 degrees. So the ma maximum range is 6 squared sine 2 times 45, because it's 2 times the angle, is 90, which is 1. So um, divide that by 9.8, and I think we got that the maximum range was rounded off 3.7 meters. So. You can increase the range also by throwing it faster, but the question was, given that velocity, how do you get the maximum range? So remember, great, easy formula to use. Make sure you only use it for a level off.